So this is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's the home page for our website, St. Louis Test Prep. This is part two of account at Cost Accounting 23, which is a discussion on activity-based costing I wanted to finish up. And remember that the purpose of ABC costing is, is that we're going to assign costs based on specific activities that are related to producing a product or selling a product or service so that we are assigning costs based on the activities that we incur to make a product or service. The point being, if we assign costs better, our total product cost is more accurate. If we have an, an accurate total cost, we can put a price on the product that will allow us to achieve a certain level of profit. So this is a landscaping company that does three things. They design landscaping, lay it out for you. They actually install it by planting plants, irrigating, actually being in your yard, setting everything up, and then they maintain it. They mow the grass, they trim, trim the hedges, they um, replant crops. So that's everything that this landscaping company does, and it breaks out into three components. And as I talked about on the first video, we have costs that are being allocated to these three components. And in the shared costs by specific usage you found out in the prior video, that we were able to take all these costs and assign them to the three, I'm going to cancel that, to the three areas, design, installation, maintenance, based on some sort of usage of that cost. So for office rent, it was based on the percentage of the total space used. Vehicle and equipment usage was based strictly on, well, what percent of the time does a particular department of the three use the vehicle or use equipment? Not surprisingly, if you look at equipment, the installation and maintenance folks are using the 100% of the equipment allocation. The people that design the landscaping don't use any of the equipment. Seems to make logical sense. Now, the reason for this video is that there's a couple of other ways you can assign costs very broadly. This is not based on activity necessarily. It's only based on one activity, so you're not assigning costs very specifically. So it could be based on FTEs, full-time equivalent employees, which is a way of measuring how many employees do you have considering that some people work part-time and on different roles in different departments, full-time equivalents. So what was given in the question here was we've got total full-time equivalents of 15.8 and that those full-time equivalents break out between the three departments like in these amounts and we can take for example for design the two full-time equivalent employees in design and divide it by total FTEs in green, and we can come up with a percentage. In this case, for design, it's 12.66. We can then apply 12.66 of each one of the costs all the way down the page. And for admin, or I'll use uh, maintenance, 45% of the FTEs, blue divided by green. If I just happen to click on this line, which happens to be payroll, about 45, 46% of the 49,000 in payroll in blue gets assigned to installation. That is only a, that is assigning costs only by one level of activity. Obviously, it's going to be a lot more accurate if you identify each type of expense and assign it based on usage of just that type of just that type. There's another way that the question has to do it, and that was to look at the share of direct labor and direct materials that a particular company incurred. So what I did over here was to say <clears throat> we add up the direct labor and the direct materials here and we allocate the and we figure out of those totals, what amount is direct labor? I'm sorry, this is just the direct labor on later reduced direct labor material. So this number 
is the total direct labor cost, which happens to be right here. This is the breakout of how each department uses di direct labor, which relates to these numbers. So if I click, for example, that's going to link to the original direct labor numbers up top. And then for design department, I take the 117,600 in direct labor costs, and I divide that by the 487,200, which is total direct labor. And I find out the design department has about 24% of the total. So every cost for design <clears throat> is allocated 24% of whatever the total cost is. So down here in purchasing, about $7,400, $7,500 gets assigned, which is 24% of the total. So this is just assigning on one number, which is direct labor. Again, not as accurate because we're only assigning based on one variable, not a whole bunch like we do up here. This is the, this is the better method, and this is the method that's more widely tested if you're taking an accounting class in the CPA exam. The last one here, which is what I stumbled, up, stumbled on just a minute ago, we could look at direct labor and direct materials. So this one takes the direct labor and direct material from here and adds it up. <clears throat> we then take the direct labor and we take direct materials. Now you'll notice the design department doesn't incur any direct material costs because they're providing the service of designing. Installation and maintenance does have direct material costs, which is plant and sod. So when we install landscaping and we maintain it, we're using plant and sod. So these two areas have direct material. We add it up. In the case of installation, it happens to be 594,000. We can then take that 594 in blue and divide it by total direct material, direct labor in green, we get about 66%. So all of the installation, all of the installation gets 66% of whatever the total cost is, all the way down the page. You can see how they're linked. So that is a third way of allocating costs that use it uses two variables, two measurements, but still not as accurate as the original method. So to wrap this up. Allocating based on the usage of each type of cost is the most accurate way to do ABC costing. That's as far as we'll get for right now. Keep in mind on the website that we have the three books, Accounting All-in-One, <clears throat> excuse me, the CPA exam for dummies, which is a little farther down, right there, and then Cost Accounting for Dummies, and you'll see a book cover for that book. Keep in mind that we also do tutoring. Um, you can go to the website and find out about tutoring services here as well. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.